See, my, my, my concern is that the people will see themselves as lukewarm, because we do this in church all the time. Yeah, I, I'm lukewarm. And then 10 minutes later, you're going to forget about it and move on in life. And I just go, what else is there to think about? Okay, so, so you understand what lukewarm is, so you're going to be spit out of the mouth of God. You, you just go, okay. I go, man, you shouldn't do anything until you figure out how to be on fire for God. You should be down on your face. You shouldn't eat again until you come before God and just fast and pray, God, get me on fire. I'm not on fire. You got to get me on fire for you. I want to be in love with you. I got to see how valuable you are compared to all this other junk. You know, get me here. That should be all you care about. Don't go to work tomorrow if you're lukewarm. Man, sell your house. Just move. Live in the, do whatever it takes. You can't end your life lukewarm. Do you get that? I mean, why, why are Jesus' words so strong? He, he says in the next verse, verse 19, why does he say it so harshly? Verse 19, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline, so be earnest and repent. Why is God saying this? He goes, because I love you. I don't want to spit you out of my mouth, you understand? I love you, and that's why I'm speaking so harshly, and I'm rebuking you. He goes, and I'll discipline you too. I'll have things happen in your life to get your attention because you're lukewarm. And if you end this way, I'm just going to spit you out of my mouth because that's disgusting. It's repulsive to me. You make me gag when you, when you question whether I'm worthy of everything and you compare me to your stuff and your false security, your idols.